Okay, um, in this video, we're going to talk about multiplication and division when it comes to a rational function. All right, so the first thing is, before we start it, I think we should start with something that we're familiar with, which is a fraction multiplication. Okay, when you look at these two fraction multiplied together, the first step you want to do is to reduce the common factor from the numerator and the denominator. So when we factor, let's take a look. 15 and 45, they can both divide it by 15. So that means I have three left and one on the top. And then for 49 and 14, when I reduce it, they have a common factor seven. So that means I have a two left and seven left. So now your function has become 1 over 7 times 2 over 3. When you multiply it, you multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. So I have 1 times 2 over 7 times 3. So I have a 2 over 21. Now, division is similar. Let's say I use 2 over 7 divided by 4 over 9. What you're going to do is, you, the first fraction, you don't do anything about it, they remain the same. And then you multiply the reciprocal, which means you flip the second fraction. So since this one is relatively prime to each other, so that means they don't have a common factor. I can just multiply numerator cross and the denominator cross. So I... Oh, they do have a common factor, sorry, which is the 2. I can reduce that here, or I can reduce it after I multiply them. That also works. So I have a 9 over 14. Now 9 over 14 is relatively prime to each other. So this is very similar when you try to reduce a, a fraction with a variables, um, such as 25x squared over 9y to the 8th times 24y to the 4th over 55x to the 7th. Well, what you're going to do is you can reduce the number, which is the coefficients, by dividing out the common factor. Now, they both have a common factor 5, so they divide it by 5. They can have 5 and 11. And then x squared and uh, x, x to the 7, you can by subtracting the exponent. So x squared and x to the 7, you subtract them, you will have 5 left. Now I'll do the other side. 24 and 9, they can reduce by common factor 3. So I have 3 and 8 left. y to the 8th. And y to the fourth, they have a four left. So after I reduce it, I got five over three times y to the fourth power, multiply eight over eleven times x to the fifth. Now you can multiply cross, which is forty over thirteen three x to the fifth y to the fourth. Let's do another one with a division which is a to the fourth b squared over a divided by b to the fourth over four. When you divide this, you need to turn this into a multiplication. The first fraction remain the same, and for the second one, you multiply the reciprocal, which is you flip it four over b to the fourth. Now we just do what we did earlier, if they have any coefficient, we will reduce the coefficient by dividing out the common factor. If they don't, we just need to subtract the exponents on the variables. Now, for a, I have a to the fourth divided by a, which means this a has one power. So that means this is going to be reduced to the third power. b squared and b to the fourth. All right. So after I simplify, I have a to the third over 1. Remember that when you reduce that, this is remain 1. Um, 
and then 4 over b square. Now multiply them. All right. So now, just like reducing a rational expression, and with what similarly we can reduce the rational function. That means that contains a polynomial. Okay, so right now, the first step you want to do is you want to factor all of the polynomial first. Factor the polynomial. So we totally have four polynomial. We did lots of factor um, exercise earlier, so this should be very quick. So two turns, and you see a square. So your first guess is, okay, this is going to be a differences of square because you see a subtraction. So that means these maybe you can consider as x squared minus 3 to the x squared. When you factor a x differences of square, you will get x plus 3 over x minus 3. And then the next one, you see three terms. You will use what? AC method. After AC method, this is going to be uh, let's do a very quick review on what is AC method. So, when it comes to an AC method, we want to have a two number, A and B. When they multiply, it's equals to 1 times negative 20, which is the um, quadratic terms coefficient multiply the uh, constant term, which is negative 20. And we want these two numbers, the sum is equal to the linear terms coefficient. So, which in this case is equal to 1. So which two number? Well, you want two number multiply to equal to negative 20. So we have 4 times 5. And since there is a negative, and then the sum is going to be a positive number. That means the bigger number is going to be a positive. A smaller number is going to be a negative. So I have a negative 4 and 5. So that means they can factor into x minus 4 times x plus 5. Now, for the second one, you use AC method. Please pause the video and practice by yourself. See if you can do it by yourself. Now, let's check the answer. You might use AC method, or if you're very familiar with the perfect square, you might get it right away. If you don't, that's fine. Use AC method. Over 3 times x plus 3. All right, now let's see. We can divide out the common factor because now they multiply. That means these are the every parentheses is going to be their factor. X plus 3 cross and X minus 4 they cross. So what do they have left? Is X minus 3 over X plus 5 times X plus 4 over 3. Now, after we reduce it, we write it into one fraction. times 3. Very good. Now let's do another exercise, which is the division. I have x squared minus x minus 12 over x squared minus 2x minus 8 divided by 5x squared plus 15x over x squared plus x minus 2. First step, you multiply the reciprocal. Okay, when I multiply the reciprocal, I multiply, I flip the, the second fraction. Now, the next step is you want to factor all of the each the factor each numerator and the denominator 
all of the polynomial. So since these are all three terms or two terms, you can find the greatest common factor or use AC method. Pause it and do it by yourself and come back to check the answer so that you will have a chance to practice for these online classes. Okay, now this is the product that we got. Now let's see what do they have in common. X minus 4 and X minus 4, they can cross cancel. And S plus 3 and X plus 3. Also, we have X plus 2 and X plus 2. So after we've done that, when we reduce it, we have 1 over 1 times X minus 1 over 5x. So that means this fraction is equal to x minus 1 over 5x. Now, if you have something that very complicated has multiplication and division, we will do the same thing. We just do it one by one. Well, first step is I always factor out each expression, or you can multiply the reciprocal. It's up to you. I'm going to factor it first. So, AC method. On the top, I have A plus 5 times A plus 2 over A plus 5 over A plus 1 times A plus 1. So, this whole thing is a factor. You can consider this is a whole parenthesis on the bottom, AC method, or perfect square. And this is already the simplest one. Now, remember, this is division. The second thing you want to do is you want to multiply its reciprocal. Now, I'm going to write it first. Or you can do the reduce the common factor first. That's fine. Multiply reciprocal. Now we can do the reduction. All right. We can do the first two fraction first, or two first two rational function. S plus five and x plus five. Cross cancel, we divide out the common factor x plus 5. And then we have x plus 2, x plus 2. What next? We also have x plus 1, x plus 1. As long as the factor 1 is on the top, the other one is in the bottom, then you can cross cancel out it. But if you have something like this one, x plus 2 and x plus 2, they're both on the same position, which is the numerator. You can just cross cancel. You need to leave it as is. But you can cross cancel which one? Let me choose a different color. Um, let's do pink, uh, orange. This one, one is on the top, one is on the bottom. These two, they can cross cancel. But you can cross cancel the green circle ones. Okay, now what's left? I have a 1 over 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 over a minus 1. Woohoo! After we reduce it, the function is very easy. It's very simple. So that's it for today's lesson. Um, let me know if you have other questions.